Hello everybody, Andrew Majewski here with Dental L. So I want to show you guys my piezo unit from Amazon. So my ultrasonic scaler from Amazon. It works. I think it's probably the best one I have ever used and I'm not just saying that. So I didn't have high hopes because a piezo scaler from Amazon, I mean, come on, how good can it be? I don't even remember the price. Shoot, I wonder if I can look it up right now. Um, Okay, I'll, I'll do that later for you guys just because I don't know if I can look it up. I think it was about $200. But again, if you get a piezo unit from Amazon, or sorry, from a dental supply company, it's about $2,000. So $200 versus $2,000. I was more than happy to try it out. So let me just kind of show you what it looks like. And it came with five tips. If you go to a dental supply company and to get the tips, they're probably about $30 each. I don't know how much they are because I'm just going to get them from Amazon. Honestly, you guys, and it works. Um, now, I can't tell you how amazing it's going to work and for how long. I just bought it about two months ago, but I have used it on almost every single patient and I love it. So this is what it looks like. And sorry, my cords are kind of tangled. This is what it looks like. I wanted a piezo unit with its own separate attachment so that I can always add in warm water because patients don't like cold water. If I want to give them like a chlorhexidine rinse underneath the gums, then I can add that as well, which is amazing. So you just put it in there. You can adjust the power. So I don't like adjusting power with the knobs because I just have found in other offices that I've used them, the knobs just, they, they seem to be temperamental. Like you go to the lower power, but it's the higher power. The higher power is actually the lower power. So I didn't want one with knobs actually. So with this one, I like it because you can adjust the power using top or, or sorry, uh, top or bottom, using the plus sign or the minus sign. So I usually have it at like power five. That seems to be enough for me so far, but you can change it. So one to 10. The water does have a knob, but I'm fine with that because I usually just keep it at the same setting anyway. So you can adjust it that way. Um, turn the water on or off. Um, my actual, ugh, sorry guys, my actual handpiece is actually in the sterilizer like as we speak. So I will show you guys that in another video, but it just attaches to that. It's really, really easy. And look, it looks nice, doesn't it? I love it. So I do highly recommend it from Amazon. I will leave the link for you guys on the bottom here. Um, it's amazing. I have like, I have tried piezo units in the office that are attached to the whole unit so that the water kind of comes out of the unit. And I hate them because you can't seem to adjust the pressure properly. The water doesn't always come out properly. And if you have to replace the unit or repair it, it's within the whole system. So you have to literally take the whole thing out. And it's, it's, it's not us doing it. It's the technicians that are charging $300 per hour. Yet with this one, since it's a separate unit, if anything happens to it, you know, I can troubleshoot um replace the hose replace a couple things but that's it so if you can help it i do always suggest getting a separate um i guess portable unit opposed to one that attaches to your dental unit now i'm a portable dental hygienist so i i travel to nursing homes so i can't have something within a unit anyway it does have to be portable and this one is perfect it's the only piezo that i saw on amazon so that's why i got that one and i'm so happy that it works and did i mention it comes with tips it came with five or six tips that's amazing love it um what else did i want to mention um, I can't think of anything. Sorry. Oh, wait. Yes, I did want to mention. So some people ask me why I choose the piezo over the cavitron. I prefer a piezo because it's lighter pressure, but still powerful. When I use the cavitron, I do like it, but I just feel like it's such a powerful machine and that patients feel it more. If the patients don't like you using it, then you can't use it. And then you're, you're using your hand instruments that can become tiring over a while. So I wanted something that's more patient. Patient acceptance is just higher. So that's why I decided on the piezo um, ultrasonic opposed to the cavitron, just in case you guys were wondering. So I'll leave the link for you guys on that on the bottom. Let me know though, if you have any questions, please. And the nice thing with Amazon is, you know, 
you can take it back. If you don't like it, take it back and they will send you either a new one or refund your money, no questions asked. So I love that. Just make sure that you order from an Amazon, I guess, company, not a third party. I did order a few things from third party just because they didn't have it like from Amazon, but I've been pretty lucky so far. I haven't had to return those products. Um, so just kind of be careful with that. But if you guys have questions, just let me know. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.